Hello, this is Dr. Jeanette Raymond, psychologist, psychotherapist, and relationship expert, here to give you uh, an insight into how to make up after a fight with your partner. You know, I get so many people telling me I had a fight yesterday, we had a fight the other day, we fought again, and I often ask them, what do you mean by having a fight? Because fights uh, sound very combative and uh, aggressive. And what I've learned is that people mean very different things when they say we had a fight. So for some people, it's just they don't see eye to eye, but they don't come to any blows or they don't uh, insult each other. They just don't see eye to eye and the feeling feels uh, so uncomfortable that they feel separate and so it feels as if there's a fight to uh, stay together and so when they're not together it feels as if they're fighting you know for other people a fight means forcing their point of view down the throat of the other and the other person has to swallow it not have any reaction and if they have a reaction then it feels like a fight to the person who wanted to put their point of view forward. Again, that's not a fight in the sense of being combative or aggressive or trying to win something. It's about feeling heard. It's about feeling taken in. It's about feeling that you're allowed to have your own point of view and the other person can accept it even if they don't agree. Another kind of fight is where people actually want to diminish the other person because they think they're a threat. So if they think they're going to be criticized or judged or mocked or ridiculed in any way, they start to accuse the other person of being mean, judgmental, selfish, um, egocentric and all those other things and so the other person then gets defensive and they begin to have an argument about who's right and who's wrong so that might feel like a fight about some kind of truth but the reality is it's about the fear that your partner is going to see you as the bad guy as being mean selfish cruel sadistic uh, you know uh, egocentric and the other person feeling like they're being attacked that their goodness is not being seen that they're being unfairly maligned and so on so what i like to share with you is that when you think about the words we had a fight think about the feeling underneath my guess is that it feels like hurt and pain that there was no room for you that your point of view was not accepted that it was like there was a barrier and it wasn't even allowed in that they didn't even want to see it well that's a real fear of annihilation that you don't exist that you don't have a mind and that nothing you say nothing you think not, none of your experiences are valued or actually real so your truth is being held hostage so that's a fear it's a fear of annihilation it's a fear that your reality is not the world as you know it. That is what fighting is about. It's about fighting for your reality. And that's about a fear of existential threat, about your reality not being the same as anyone else's. And what's underneath that? Well, if your reality is different to your partner's reality, and your partner and you are each trying to prove that your reality is the real one, then what is the fear? The fear is about being separate, living on two different planets, living in a way where there's no common language of communication, of bringing those worlds together, not so that they completely merge, because then you're not individuals, you just become one person, and so then you feel stifled. But enough closeness that you can each have your own viewpoint but that you also merge and you, you converge in some ways where you accept 
parts of each other's reality and have a shared experience. That is what is at the root of having a fight. It's about the fight to make your reality accepted by your partner in some way and vice versa. So think about how you would try to make up after you've had one of these so-called fights, which is really about existential threat and your reality being completely uh, washed away. So the first thing to do is to check in with your partner's feelings. When you think there's been a fight, ask your partner, how are you feeling right now? What's going on for you? And then you listen. If they start attacking you, say, sounds like you're angry or you're upset, but maybe you're hurt because you're feeling hurt too. And when they say yes, then the door opens. Here's a moment where your realities can be shared. Your partner's hurt and you are hurt. A reality. You're both feeling the same thing. And you're both equally hurt that your realities are not accepted by the other person. So talk about what that feels like. Do those check-ins regularly and do a reality check every now and again. So very often the people that I work with who say they have fights regularly, what I notice is they have a preconception about what will happen if they speak to their partner or try and tell them something or explain something or ask for a moment of their time. They say, well, I know what's going to happen. They're just going to uh, fob me off. They're going to pretend to listen. They're not really going to hear me. They're not going to understand. They're just paying lip service. Uh, so what's the point? Now, the other person who's supposed to be on the receiving end may have a similar set of preconceptions. They're going to come at the same old excuse all the time. I have to make an excuse for them. I have to make room, but they don't care about me. They're the selfish one uh, and so on and so forth. So each partner has built up this sort of stage where the other one will act. All the props are in place, all the sound effects, all the lighting, everything. And so when the partner comes to talk, they're not hearing the partner who's real they're hearing the partner on the stage that they have created for their partner who will just say the same thing as they always do so of course you can't hear each other and you feel hurt again you feel worn down you're you're not being heard you're not being seen and it feels like the separation is coming again you're back alone in your own little world and there's never going to be a time where you can feel together well, this is where sharing hurt, sharing fear that your reality is not accepted and a reality check might be really good. Hey, right now in this moment, the reality is we're both hurt. We're both trying to get hurt. We both have different experiences. That's the reality. The reality is each of our experiences are real to us and you have to make room for that if you care. It's not going to wash away your experience or erase it. It's going to enliven and enrich it. It's not going to contaminate it because that's the other fear. So that's my take on why people think they have so many fights and how to make up. Stick to the fears underneath and the fear of separation of reality and the fights will be less and you won't feel the tearing apart of your two worlds. I hope you enjoyed this and see you next time.